When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, who is this? The crowds answered, this is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. Matthew 21, 10 through 11. Jesus enters Jerusalem on a donkey. We call it the triumphal entry. And the people shout, Hosanna. But what they're really doing is singing a Psalm of Ascent, Psalm 118, 25. It's three words in English, Lord save us. But it's one word in Greek, Hosanna. The people shout Hosanna and then they wave palm branches. Psalm 118, 27 says, with bows in hand, join in the festal procession up to the horns of the altar. Well, what's that about? Well, what we call Palm Sunday was actually the day of lambs. The sheep that were sacrificed on the Passover belonged to a special flock that was born and raised in Bethlehem at a place called Migdol Eder, the tower of the flock. Those sheep were considered sacred and they were set aside for sacrifice. Now sheep are fragile creatures, easily injured, which would disqualify them from being used for sacrifice because they had to be without blemish. For that reason, when these sacrificial sheep were born, these Levitical shepherds would carry them into caves called mangers where they would swaddle them in specially designated temple cloths. Then those lambs were laid in feeding troughs to be examined for blemishes. That should sound familiar. It was to those very shepherds that the angels announced the birth of Jesus. When the angels said that they would find the Messiah wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger, they were painting a prophetic picture. Fast forward three decades. Once a year, right before Passover, these Levitical shepherds would lead their flock from Bethlehem to Jerusalem. They would enter the city through the Sheep Gate. They would walk down the Via Dolorosa on Lamb Selection Day, and those sheep would be sold for sacrifice. After purchasing a Passover lamb, the people would join the festal procession. They would take the Passover lamb to the temple while waving palm branches and singing Hosanna. As those Passover lambs were sacrificed on the horns of the altar, the priest would pronounce, it is finished. Do you remember how John the Baptist addressed Jesus? He could have called him cousin, but John said, behold the lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. It is no coincidence that Jesus, the Lamb of God, is born in the same way, at the same place as those sacrificial sheep. It's no coincidence that Jesus enters Jerusalem on the day of lambs. And it's no coincidence that Jesus is crucified during Passover. It's no coincidence that Jesus says it is finished on the cross. All these things are pieces of a prophetic puzzle that point to Jesus as Messiah, that point to Jesus as the fulfillment of the law and the prophets, that points to Jesus as the Son of God and the Lamb of God.